Hello and welcome to Konrad Seidel's Spear of the Week. This week's spear is a beer that's uh, called Pils 28. Uh, 28 is the brewing company and they, they brew a Pils that they call a low carb Pilsner. The brewery is actually situated in Italy, so this beer comes from Italy, but the company resides somewhere in Belgium. They brew their beer worldwide in different small breweries and uh, in this case they wanted to introduce a low-carb pilsner. Well, we all know about low-carb beers, light beers called in America, and the term light beer doesn't work very well in Europe. So low-carb sometimes works a little better so people know what to expect. Uh, one thing is these beers have very, very little residual sugars. So that should work with a Pilsner beer. Because the Pilsner beer style, uh, by definition, is a very dry beer style. So we are talking about a beer that's uh, golden in color, has a white head. I can pour a little more to produce more foam. The beer is hazy, it's unfiltered, and uh, you expect some hop aroma in the pills. Now, well, you find some of it. Some of it means it's, it's hoppy, but, but not the way that you find it in other Pilsner beers. You know, typical for a Pilsner beer, uh, you'd expect uh, European style noble hops, as the definition says. Well, here, it's more of a flower-like aroma. It's, um, I don't know, roses. There, there is even some sweetness in uh, the nose, although this beer claims to have very, very little residual sugars. And we taste, when we taste it, uh, that's true. There's, there's no perceived sweetness in it. So this is, in fact, what you expect from a Pilsner beer. If you look at the bottle, well, they, they, they just state that they have below 0.5 grams of sugar in there, very low in calories, and um, so this beer uh, is uh, very highly attenuated, which means that all the sugars that are produced during the fermentation or the brewing process are processed during fermentation uh, into alcohol and carbon dioxide. So there's, there's no sugars left that get into the mash with the malt. Uh, doesn't say too much on, on, on the ingredients. It says uh, water, barley malt, uh, and uh, hops plus, uh, of course, some yeast. And there's yeast in there because it's unfiltered. Again, still this, this, this very flower-like aroma. Very dry, very dry start. Not a lot of body, but, uh, but a very refreshing character. Some bitterness in the aftertaste, but uh, not overwhelming. Not like the Northern German Pilsner beers that are really, really bitter. This one is, uh, is easy drinking and it's uh, well, it's, 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 a, it's a very well-made uh, German-style Pilsner, uh, as I said, brewed in Italy, uh, although it does not uh, really give you the name of the brewery. I know it's a brewery in northern Italy. And, uh, well, if you want to try that beer, look for 28. They did the 28 beers, they come in, in different varieties. I also found some like, Belgian-style triples brewed in Belgium. So uh, look for these beers, they're low carb, they're uh, you know, low carb in some, some cases in America, people say, oh, well, the low carb beers, they're, they're easy drinking, but they have not a lot of taste. Well, this one has, and I'm, well, I'm curious to sample some of the others, and maybe I'll see you with one of the other 28 beers in one of the upcoming uh, Conrad Seidel's Beer of the Week. I'll see you next week, folks. Cheers. Really very aromatic and very, very.